everyone welcome to the session so in this particular video i'll talk about the measures of skewness right so here i would like to discuss two different types of distribution mainly one which we called as symmetric and another one which we called as non symmetric or asymmetric so here if you will observe on the screen this is something which i am calling as a symmetric distribution or you can say it's a kind of a bell shaped curve i hope that you even have heard this distribution which is something called as normal or gaussian distribution come on this distribution plays a very 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 crucial role in statistics and even in upcoming part of the videos when i'll talk about a lot of theorems like central limit theorem which is again a very important concept for statistics part we will see that how this particular distribution plays a very important role but as for now just to make a long story short you just need to understand that this is a kind of a bell shaped curve where if i just split this data into half here you can see right so you will be able to get a mirror image of that right here one thing if you will observe this can be asked from you in an, in, an, in the form of an mcq or in the form of a interview question that what will happen with respect to mean median and mode whenever you will be having a symmetric distribution or whenever you are dealing with a symmetric based data what is the value of mean median and mode so as you can see at that point of time all these three values are equal so that is the only distribution which assures you that the value of mean median and mode will become equal to each other let's come towards the next particular distribution but before that can you let me know what is the real time example of the symmetric distribution i will wait for your answers right let's go ahead another distribution is something which we called as non symmetric or i would say skewed kind of a distribution with where your data is either left skewed or it is either right skewed right whenever i'm saying left skewed i hope you can see this uh this particular thing right on the left side here you can see there is a long tail which is there perfect so that's why it is called as a left skewed distribution left side there is a i would say long tail is there we can clearly see right now here if you will observe again a very important important interview question that what will happen with respect to mean median and mode whenever you, your data distribution is left or negatively skewed okay try to observe this graph very much carefully here you can observe one thing that whenever i'm talking about left skew the highest frequency is something which we always call as mode we already have discussed so mode is there median median is the middle value so this is the middle value and mean is the this one average of all so here you can see clearly one thing that the mode is having a very higher value then comes median and then comes the mean value where this real life uh, example uh, happen as a left skew distribution can you think of anything yeah i have written one example called as retirement age can you think of how i am saying that retirement age is a left skewed example okay usually what happened when so just try to see on x axis observe that just assume that here i am mentioning about the age so as you can think of that there will be a very less proportion of people who is having a low age maybe less than 40 or less than 30 and is going to retire usually what happened the people who is having a age higher maybe more than 60 or 65 or 55 depending upon the finances that they have accordingly they will retire at a high age at least in india i can say this right so whenever we follow this kind of a uh, you know survey where we will observe the retirement age of a people you will observe that you will be able to get a left or negatively skewed distribution that is where you can see a real life example of that even in an interview interviewer can ask from you to just check your knowledge that okay whether you just know the concept conceptually or logically or you just cram it so just try to understand the concept just try to relate with the real life example you will automatically able to appreciate the concept then right apart from that i can say maybe human life cycle is an example of a left negatively skewed why 
because you will observe that those people who are having a lower age the chances are very low that they are going to die but as we uh, move on in increasing the age the number of deaths will be definitely high right so due, to, due to maybe some health conditions or uh, some other conditions also even though it's not guaranteed but still if we will see the overall graph or the survey of that you can say that okay that will also follow a left or negatively skewed distribution of that i hope i'm making sense right so apart from that what are the what other examples do we have i'm waiting for you in the comment section do let me know moving ahead an another distribution which is a skewed one called as right skewed now here you can clearly see one thing what is the difference between left and the right one here you can see it long tail at the right side when i am saying left skewed long tail was there on the left side and the example you can correlate with the retirement age when i am saying right skewed there you can see on the right side there is something which you can say is a long tail is there so here if you if you will observe mode is having a highest frequency which is at the extreme left then comes median and then comes mean means here the value of the mean is greater as comparable to median median is greater as comparable to mode just the reverse relation of what we have learned from left skewed distribution can you tell me the reason why uh, what's the uh, uh, why is that so what's the example where you can correlate this kind of a distribution let me give you one example and try to understand the concept with that and then i am looking forward for your examples what other than that you can think of so i can talk about the salary of an employee usually what happened for a common age group we usually earn something similar modest amount of earning where we can just uh, you know take our own financial things right but then there are exceptions who are earning maybe in crores or maybe in uh, more than maybe 50 lakh again exceptions are there again outliers i would say so at that point of time those few exceptions lie in this range whose earnings are quite very high right but maximum youngsters or maximum people lie in this range so that is where i can talk about a right skewed distribution the example of that the best example is salary of an employee who is working in an organization so that is what i want to discuss here in this particular part of the video where i want to majorly talk about the second aspect of summarizing and vis visualizing data module where we have talked about the shape in today's session which is either bell shaped which i was talking about as a skewed uh, is as a symmetric distribution and another one is the skewed one where we have talked about what is left and the right skewed now in the next upcoming part of the video i'll talk about a spread how the data is spread and how we can measure that we can measure using three important metrics called as range interquartile range and variance we'll try to see what's the pros and cons of each and every particular part of the uh, metric that we have and then we'll try to compare those metrics i hope that i'm making sense to everyone so with this note i would like to end this particular video i hope that you really get a uh, insightful content about, uh, from this particular part of the video if you really get do hit like the video and do share it with all your friends who really need this kind of a content related to stats in data science and uh, with this note i would like to end this particular video bye bye everyone happy learning to all and i'll see you all in my next upcoming video